Natalie, and I'm lucky enough that I have two kids with special needs. They both have autism, and brushing is a challenge, obviously. Um, and I, my son is 15, and my daughter is almost four. And uh, sometimes it's really hard to brush their teeth. And I want to talk about that because it's called desensitizing. You have to get in their mouth and do it nonstop, at least twice a day, to really make it work. So I'm going to show, oh, look at my daughter. She's doing a great job brushing now. Normally that's not the case. But I'm going to actually be brushing her teeth today. And my son used to act just like her. She was usually crying and screaming during brushing. Oh, look, she's all done. No, she's not. Um, but Quinn's going to show what a good job he does now. And I'm going to show how I actually brush her teeth at home. It's really hard. You can do it. Let's do the top teeth first. Good job. This is just called desensitizing, brushing her teeth over and over again. Eventually, she'll end up just like Quinn with no problem. It'll be really easy. You can do it. One more time. I can. Yay. Good job. And we've done it. You've got a clean mouth. No, I can't. Excellent job. When Quinn was little, he was actually worse than Rosalind. I remember one time he hid. He ran from the bathroom and hid underneath the kitchen table. I had to drag him out and brush his teeth. But now, look at him. He does a great job. He does his two minutes of brushing. He's had orthodontics. He's got his braces off. He's got a permanent retainer. He flosses his teeth. So in the beginning, it's really, really hard like with Rosalind, but eventually we'll get there. Each day, some days are good, some days are bad. But now I can always count on Quinn to do a good job. I still always double check his teeth to make sure he's done a good job. So brush away, don't give up, and we'll get there, right, Rosie?